We got some big, dirty, dusty, and disgusting tires we're going to be working on today. We've been driving this truck onto the beach all summer long, so it's a great opportunity to show you guys how to clean up some really dirty wheels and tires. First thing I'm going to do is switch out my 40 degree nozzle for a 25. That's just going to give me a little more pressure, a little more power to knock off any heavy grime, dirt, debris, sand, anything that may be stuck on the tire before I start using chemicals and go in for my contact wash. Because we are using some acidic chemicals, I recommend putting some gloves on before you get started. I'm using a wheel cleaner that also has an iron remover in it. Your wheel is going to pick up little iron deposits from when you brake and just picking it up off the road in general. So it's nice to have a wheel cleaner that has an iron remover built in to allow all those nasty deposits to be removed so they don't make permanent etches into your wheel. You can really see the iron remover working. The chemicals are clinging to the iron oxide particles and dissolving them right off the wheel. The areas you see the purple are where the iron remover is dissolving the contaminants. Let the iron remover sit for about three to five minutes before washing off. Now I'm grabbing a non-acidic wheel and tire cleaner. This one's made by PNS. I'll put a link in the description for all the products that you see in today's video if you guys are interested in picking them up for yourselves. I like to cut this product at a three to one dilution ratio. I think that works best. It kind of allows it to foam up and suds up really nice. And also you're saving some money because you really don't need to use this out of the bottle. It comes pretty concentrated in my opinion and a little can go a long way. This product also has corrosion inhibitors built in. So this is great. I noticed since I started using this, I have to use less and less iron remover because it's inhibiting the iron deposits from forming in the first place. Really a fantastic product. Now I'm going to spray a little more on a nice soft brush and coat the wheels with that corrosion inhibiting chemical. I like chemicals that do more than one thing. So not only is this cleaning, but it's protecting. I really like that. This little brush is really helpful for getting those kind of hard to reach spots in the corner of wheels where it kind of collects dust and dirt. So this is really nice to have on hand. All right, we got our wheels clean. We got our tires clean. We're gonna spray everything off, dry it off, and then apply our tire dressing. And a nice little hack is you can use a leaf blower to kind of cut down on the dry time of your wheel and tire. Otherwise, tires can take a really long time to dry. Now, before we apply our tire dressing, I'm going to apply a ceramic spray sealant on the wheel itself. Using a ceramic spray on your wheels is just going to allow you to not have to clean them so often. The ceramic coating repels dirt, grime, water, and just keeps your wheels looking cleaner for much longer. Now, because I have these big all-terrain tires, I like to be able to spray my tire dressing into those big grooves. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long to apply the dressing by hand. I'll apply the inside of the tire by hand, but those big grooves are going to be really tough to get to. So I like to just kind of spray it into the grooves, let it sit and soak in. And I also use a cardboard box just to protect the paint and everything else around the wheel so I'm not making a big mess. I'm using a little tire shine applicator brush. This thing is really nice. I got this on Amazon. Keeps your hands clean and it allows you to be really precise on where you're applying your tire dressing. It's great for applying tire dressing in all those little nooks and crannies that you see here on this tire. Then I'm just going to go back in with a microfiber towel and clean up any extra dressing that I left behind. There's no doubt that wheels and tires can be challenging to clean, but with the right products, you can make them look amazing. Having great looking wheels and tires brings the look of your vehicle to a whole other level. If you guys are interested in picking up any of these products that you saw in today's video, I'll put links in the description. I'll also be sure to post it in the first comment. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button, and hitting that bell notification so you get updates on when new videos are released. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.